This right here is a massive deal because I'm going to go ahead and guess that you are also in the exact same position as me and quite frankly, thousands and thousands and hundreds of probably not hundreds of thousands, like tens of thousands of people that attempted to go and grab one of the 9070 XTs that we were uh, told would be in stock. But unfortunately, you see these, these you see this 9070 XT right here for 1900 bucks. You see this 9070 XT right here for 2000 bucks. Where's the best buy? You see this one right here for 750 bucks, sold out. 800 bucks, sold out. 600 bucks, whoa, holy moly actually a graphics card for the price we were told it would be 800 bucks 800 800 800 800 so uh yeah i'm just I, I really hate to be the guy that does this to you but told you so but anyways despite me uh telling you so let's go ahead and cover this right here a startup claiming that its zeus gpu is 10 times faster than the nvidia rtx 5090 bolt's first gpu is going to be coming in 2026 please please Please, I am so excited for this. This is the best news that we have had in, quite frankly, roughly 10 years. Now we don't have to resort to NVIDIA. And also, listen to AMD lying to all of us. Just so we're clear, really quickly, I know that we're going to have a bunch of AMD people dislike me for what I just barely said. Do I have control over the market? Do I just be like AMD? Make sure that you don't lie to people and make sure that when you say your 9070 XT will be readily available, that it is actually readily available. I guess I'm just like some sort of wizard that has a superpower to just poof AMD's honesty into existence. I, I privated two of my videos because of the ridiculous amount of dislikes that I was getting with me talking about how misleading AMD's marketing is. Has nothing to do with the performance of the graphics card, bro. Absolutely awesome that we have a supposed to be cheap budget graphics card. Like many processors these days, Zeus relies on multi-chiplet design. The entry-level Zeus 1C26032 features a single processing unit that is equipped with 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory at 273 gigabytes a second and can be mated up to 128 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, memory using the two so DIMMs at 80 gigabytes a second. So basically this is kind of similar to the AMD's AI9, the, the, whatever, A, the, AMD's really high-end CPU, freaking names, dude. <laughs> it's such a stupid name for a CPU. AMD Ryzen 9 AI Max Plus 395, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Basically what this is, is I, I really hope that they bring this thing to, to desktops as well. But for people that are into the laptop scene, it's pretty much a, it's a really high-end CPU that allows you to take a turd bucket graphics card like NVIDIA's RTX 4060 and actually give it more than a pathetic 8 gigabytes of DDR5 or, hold on, DDR6, GDDR7. Dude, the amount of name changes that we got going, I'm so confused with everything. But you get my point. Rather than turd bucket 8 gigabytes of RAM that the 4060 has, you can take your nice new fancy $3,000 laptop with a 4060 in it and add more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. Unfortunately, that's kind of where we're at with this. You know, you, you, we're not we're not getting that CPU for, for, for a cheap price. So, um, continuing on here, the Zeus GPU also paired with an IO chiplet that packs a QSFP DD port for 400 gigabytes, <laughs> whatever. This has been on, I don't understand anything that I'm saying right now. So you guys can see this. This is what I like to see. I like to see this nice, nice, nice crisp little chart that I can just look at and be like, oh, wow, nice numbers. So we have 32 gigabytes, 64, 120. That is wild. What? Oh my goodness, dude. Dang, bro. That's what for a graphics card? Damn, dude. So right here, Nvidia 90 or AMD 9070 XT. Again, dude. Hate to be that guy that says it, but I told you so. These were not I'm really just saying it, dude. Like, I don't know, like, where to buy the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT and the, just don't buy the 9070, all right? It's, 
it's hard, dude, because it's like the 5070 is an absolute, it's even worse than the 40 or 9070. But I'm just saying that, like, you, whatever. It's just a fact, okay? The 9070 XT is way better. You get the 9070 XT if you can find one. So they're all tough to find. Many retailers, especially in the U.S., sold out in minutes. Canada is basically non-existent. U.K., again, same situation. I know you guys have all scrolled Reddit. I know you guys have all scrolled Twitter. And I know that you guys have all scrolled Facebook as well. It is not me just saying this, okay? I know that you have all seen this. I'm just ups as upset with this bull crap that we got going on as well, dude. I run a PC building business, all right? Like, I don't like this situation that we're in right now. I cannot, I literally cannot build computers unless it's a low-end computer. And I'm sorry, dude, I value my time, okay? It is an absolute nightmare for me to have to build five, six, seven computers every single day in order to make the same amount of money, whereas I could just build one very high-end computer with a 4090 or a 5090 and make the same amount of money. It is like, it is making my life an absolute nightmare right now. So I don't like the situation that we're all in right now. It sucks, dude. I agree with you. But don't take your anger out on me, okay? Don't leave some sort of offensive comment about me struggling with autism or bipolar disorder, or me foaming out my mouth because I took the medication that I'm supposed to be taking, okay? It's not like I just like woke up one day and was like, oh, hey, I want to be screwed up so everybody can definitely judge me and leave an opinion about how, how, how broken I am. All right, so where to buy the AMD Radeon RX 9070 series graphics cards? Again, nowhere because they're not in stock. Again, like I said, they weren't going to, it wasn't going to happen, dude. And it's crazy that I even had to private those videos. No, there's nothing available. All right, so this is, I'm sorry, man, but like this is dead on arrival. This is like you can't, they're not, nobody is going to switch from an NVIDIA graph. I'm, and this is me just being real. Okay, like let's just like pause and take a moment to be realistic and honest with ourselves rather than like pretending that everybody is going to go and buy these AMD graphics cards. Because quite frankly, if you lie to yourself and you're dishonest and you're excited for this crap, nothing is going to change. We're all going to be continuing to bending over for NVIDIA. I don't want to be bent over by Jensen. I'm sure you don't want to be bent over for Jensen either, unless that's something that floats your boat. And by all means, if that's what floats your boat continue to bend over for him. But I don't want to do that, man. That's that's not what that's not what gets me going, okay? Honestly, let's be really honest right now, okay? 5070 Ti. I'm look, I hate the situation that we are all in. I refuse to buy a 5070 Ti because it is a, it's 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 overpriced, okay? Which is why like I haven't been building computers lately, okay? Nobody zero people that have an nvidia graphics card or are even remotely interested into buying a new computer nobody is going to buy the version with a 9070 xt in it that's just a fact man nvidia has a monopoly don't like it i don't like it just like you don't like it okay i don't like the situation we're in but nobody is going to buy an 800 dollar amd graphics card Nobody is going to do that. Okay? The, like, right now, we have this situation where it's it's a, it's a last resort for people. Like, that is what is happening right now. And I knew that this would happen, man. Like, I, I really do. I hate to be that guy that says, I told you so. I don't like to be that guy, dude. But this was bound to happen. Because what's going to happen now, scalpers are scalping graphics cards for a reason, okay? If they did not scalp the 9070 XT as well on top of the NVIDIA graphics cards, nobody would be buying their scalped NVIDIA graphics cards. So they buy the, the 9070 XT and the 9070 because if they do that, then they, they, can, they can continue to sell the NVIDIA graphics cards for stupidly inflated prices, like mean level of price inflation. Like, we're not just talking about you and me being upset and frustrated going to Amazon and seeing a $2,000 NVIDIA, NVIDIA RTX 5090 for like $2,500 to $3,000. That would just be like reseller, like whatever, dude. Who cares? It's He's making 500 bucks. And if And again, honesty here. If, if we're spending two grand on a graphics card already, $500 to $1,000 should not matter to you. Do I like it? Absolutely not. Is it frustrating? 100%. But if you're buying a $2,000 graphics card already, 
It is just common sense, dude, that you're not going to be paying $2,000 MSRP for that graphics card. It is going to be at least $500 more. So if you actually care, it's like me with the PC stuff. I cannot, dude, it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter how cheap the computer is. It doesn't matter what computer I build. There's always people in the comments, oh, I could have built that for this much money. Okay, so, uh, dude, I don't charge people anything other than the cost of parts for the computers that I build, okay? I make my money through the affiliate income. I make my money through YouTube. I make my money through brand deals. I make my money through the cash back on my credit card. And I make my money through the Amazon influencer program. So there's no, it, I, I, there's no reason for me to charge people that are supporting me watching my content. It is, there's literally no reason. I already cannot spend the money that I make. It is, it doesn't make any sense. It's like everybody is so opinionated and it's the worst part about the op opinions. It's just from really stupid people, bro. <laughs> so like, it's like these opinions, just nothing but piss me off. It really does. But, but anyways, the main thing about this dude is I'm just very excited for this, this, whatever, this Zeus GPU. I'm so excited for this dude. That's such an awesome thing to see a new GPU maker coming into the market because unfortunately, dude, Nvidia just sucks. And that's just an absolute fact, you know? So I'm excited for this one. Definitely going to be following it, but catch you guys in the next one. Peace.